Hey guys, Blake from OGXbox.com. This is my N64 Freak modded Xbox. Um, you can see the switch here for the 50% CPU, bring it down to normal speed when it's down, fast speed when it's up, um, 1.4 gigahertz. And then this is what I want to show you. I installed the Executor 2.3 Pro. Um, it has dip switches for bank selection. I wanted two 512K BIOSes. Um, so I put this in parallel with the dip switch that would control that. Dip switch is in the off position, so then this actually selects the bank. So I'll go ahead and show you that. It's like Steve Benson always talks about splitting the T-SOP. I didn't use the T-SOP, I used the executor. I didn't want to mess with the T-SOP on this one. Alright, so you can see the XDK launcher loads here. So, like for instance, there's the OG Xbox Unleash X dashboard. That's where I tested it um, before I released it to everybody. There's different versions there that I went through. Uh, and then there's other, those came on my actual dev kit that I recently got. Alright, so let's power it off. We'll flip the switch. Yeah, there's a mess in the floor. Then you can see that was just a normal modded Xbox, and that's Executor 2 5035. So then this way I have the you know kind of both environments, so I can go straight from dev to actually testing whatever I want and so just thought I'd show that to you I uh, just did that mod recently and um, it works really well so uh, I don't know if you guys <laughs> probably nobody wants a tutorial they'll probably just uh, stick with splitting the TSOP but that's one of the big advantages of doing it especially with this particular Xbox um, with the faster CPU and 128 megs of RAM it, it's not any different than a, a, a normal, you know, a debug kit other than it's got the faster CPU. So, anyway. Uh, it, but it is nice to be able to switch over to retail and, you know, get a legitimate test. So, anyway, just want to show you that. Thanks for watching.